Hello and welcome to another WYSIWYG Web Builder tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about SEO, Search Engine Optimization. My name is Don Hatton and um, I am the SEO Tutor. My website is www.theseoprimer.com and if you don't have a copy of WYSIWYG Web Builder yet, swing by my site and pick up a copy. They're really cheap and you only pay once and it's yours for life. Now let's get on with the tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the meta description. This is really important. Uh, it is the very thing that causes people to click on the search results on the search results screen when they type in a search for your website. So you want to make sure that it's good for your website. Let's take a look at a meta description for a site that I'm currently working on. Here we have the website that I'm working on now called businesscoachingandmentoring.com. And uh, the meta description, as we say, we want to encourage people to click on it. So let's open up our page properties. I right click on the background of the screen or you can access it by clicking on page up here and going into page properties. We go into meta tags and here we have the description right here. This description is, as I said, what encourages people to click on your site. The way it's supposed to be working is you type in uh, what the main title of your page is. As you see here, business mentoring and coaching services. And then you describe what the serv what the web page is about. In this case, helping businesses succeed through business mentoring and coaching solutions. Last thing you want to put in your meta description is a short catchphrase to encourage people to come to your site and not one of your competitors. In this case, we use the phrase services not available elsewhere. That way people know that they're going to get something at this site that they can't find anywhere else. Now normally you have between 140 and 180 characters to do all this in. So you've got to be careful and make sure it's short and concise. Uh, now the Google search engine uses 160 characters. So if you keep around 160 characters for the total of your, uh, your meta description, you'll be fine. Now in this case, this is 153 characters long, including spaces. You have to include those. So 153 characters is just under the 160 limit. That means on most search engines, we're going to display the whole thing that we have written here, so nothing will be wasted. And um, that about covers it for the meta description. Please try not to get into this um, thing that a lot of people do is making one uh, meta description for every page on your site and have them all the same. It doesn't help. Each meta description should be specific to the page that you're talking about. Uh, other than that, you should use some keywords in there like business coaching for that page that I did uh, and uh, focus on making the text readable and make it where people will enjoy it. That's it for this uh, tutorial on search engine optimization and uh, the WYSIWYG Web Builder. I appreciate your time and I hope you've learned something from it. Again, if you don't have the WYSIWYG Web Builder, I recommend you go get it. For less than $40, you can own an outstanding website building program for life. Free updates and everything. You can pick up your copy at theseoprimer.com. Thanks again and I hope I've helped you learn a little bit more about search engine optimization.